Bottom drains seem to be quite a controversial topic. I'm not sure why some people like to tell others that they must or mustn't do something. I believe there's many ways to build a successful pond. G'day, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, feel free to subscribe and you might also like to check out my website, ozponds.com. Just so you know straight off the bat, none of my ponds have a bottom drain, but that isn't to say that they aren't useful. So let's take a quick look at why you might want one or why you might not. A bottom drain works by pulling water off the bottom of the pond and into the filter. This helps keep the bottom of the pond clean of solid waste. Having a bottom drain keeps the plumbing and electrical hidden. It keeps the bottom of the pond quite clean of fish waste and detritus. And because the filter on these setups is usually at the same water level as the pond, they can be quite efficient to run, as there is no lift or head height to contend with. They can even be powered by an airlift system. That all sounds pretty good, so you might be wondering, Kev, how come you don't use them? For me it came down to cost, complexity and what I expect from my ponds. When I first started learning about ponds, the thought of adding a bottom drain really scared me. They seemed quite complex to set up and I was worried about putting a hole in the liner. I was watching videos and they were concreting in the drain, building big filter houses, spending thousands of dollars and I thought to myself, this isn't what I want. I'm a pretty lazy person, I like things to be simple and I want them to be cheap. And then I found out about ecosystem style ponds. These are ponds that use rock, pebble and plants and their aim is to look natural. And none of these types of ponds were using bottom drains, so I was very interested. The basic bones of an ecosystem pond are, there's a pump that sits inside a skimmer. This draws surface water into the pump and then from the pump it moves up to the filter. In an ecosystem pond, the filter is generally above the pond water level, so you will need a submersible pump to pump it to the filter. The water then passes through the filter and it's returned to the pond via gravity. This is usually using a waterfall or a stream. So both designs take water from the pond and deliver it to a filter that purifies the water and makes it safe for the fish. The biggest difference in configuration is that one takes water from the bottom and one takes water from the surface. The advantage of taking water from the bottom is it takes all that solid material and deposits it in the filter where it can then be removed. The advantage of taking the water from the surface is that it pulls in floating debris like leaves before they get a chance to decompose inside the pond. The disadvantage of pulling up all that solid material and depositing it in the filter is that the filter itself needs regular cleaning because it gets all clogged up. And the disadvantage of pulling water from the surface is that that muck will accumulate in the bottom of the pond and you'll need to vacuum the pond from time to time to remove it. I've got many videos on the channel from how I build my ponds to making my own filters how the filters work and how I clean them. So right now, I don't wanna go into all the nitty gritty of all the different filter options, not for this video. Uh, if you do wanna check out some of those other videos, feel free. Now, of course, there's nothing stopping you from having a bottom drain and a skimmer. And if like me, you were worried about putting holes in the liner, you can use the solids handling pump that sits on the bottom of the pond and sucks up water from the bottom and delivers it straight to the filter. You could disguise it in a homemade pump vault if you like, that way all the electrical and plumbing will still stay hidden. I think that people who are all about the fish are more likely to choose and build a pond with a bottom drain. That's because they're more likely to want lots of fish, they'll want to feed them all the time, and they'll enjoy tinkering and cleaning the filters. Whereas people like me that want lower maintenance overall are more likely to go for the ecosystem route. But both systems work and both are beautiful, 
So just figure out which one suits you. I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching. See ya.